What's up, guys? I'm John. I'm Sharice. And we are back with another Cupid's Corner. That's right. Me and my beautiful little wife over here are bringing you guys great tips, tricks, information, and things will hopefully ignite, excite, and take your relationship to a whole new healthy level. Every week we're doing this for you guys. So I hope you guys are enjoying it and taking this information in. Maybe write it down in your little notebook and be able to use it for later. So, you know, this week we want to cover, you know, we just got back from Sharice's birthday trip, which we take every year. Yeah, thank God. And we, we usually go to someplace warm, which we live in Florida where it's warm already in the summertime. But we like a little bit more relaxation, re vacations, right? John um, likes the sand. And we come, we, we go with a, you know, a little small core group of our really, really good friends. And uh, we usually have a really, really good time. So this, this trip was a good time too as well. A little snags here or there and some of the different things. But nothing's perfect so you got to just take the good with the good and leave the bad alone but you know when we go on these vacations these are great times for me and Sharice really just to relax chill out not have to think about anything and we come up with great ideas not only for our company but even maybe for a relationship or what we want to do in the future mm -hmm. it gives us a time to really think about all these other things that we never get time to think about to right? reflect to reflect yes that's the word Reflect. Yeah, so we reflect on you know on different things that listen where we where we were at before, right? We kind of laugh about it, like oh my god, yeah, we reminisce. You know, we kind of go through those memories. You remember this? You remember that? Wow. Um, and yeah. then you start, <laughs> yeah, right. And yeah. then you know you start looking to the future, like hey, listen, what do we want to do? Like, where are we trying to get to in our future? In the next five to ten years, where do we see ourselves? Where do we see our relationship? Where are we going to be living at? You know, all these good things. What is our son going to be doing at that point in time, mm -hmm. right? Because there's all these different variables that are going through us. But, uh, you know, it's something that's that's really awesome, um, you know, to get that time alone. Because nobody else should be bugging you at that point. You guys, if you do go by yourselves, it's always great for a, a, a couple to go on some sort of vacation, staycation. You don't got to leave the country. You can go down the you state. Go down the street. Right? You know? Street or, or, you know, further down the state, wherever you live. Um, and have some alone time where nobody else knows you, okay? And you can kind of disconnect from it all. Right. I and mean, that, that's really where it's at. If you can go to somewhere real nice where it's a little private island, do that. It's even better, all right? And you can enjoy each other. Because when you guys are in town or in the real world, you have everybody and their mother tugging at you left and right and up and down. And you just, your head's spinning to a certain extent. Your yeah, kids my are going head's on spinning. Uh, you're, you're, like you're taking care of your parents, whatever it may be, your grandma, wh whoever it is, right? You got a thousand cats at home. I don't know. You highly have all these different things. things. Highly allergic. So, <laughs> so it, it is good to, to be able to, to do these things. And, you know, the other thing is, is that when we go on these trips, we always do some, some sort of fun activity. So it's not just sitting on the beach and drinking all day. Yeah. Now, alcohol can be involved and sitting on the beach definitely can be involved. Or sitting alcohol by the pool. was involved. And, you know, actually this year, though, crazy enough, there wasn't actually that much alcohol involved. Yeah. It was just like one of those really nice, chill, relaxing environments. Yeah. And it was really cool because... The beach water, which here in Florida, if you go to like Clearwater Beach or St. Pete Beach or wherever, the waves are pretty like very minimal. You know, they're just like little baby waves out there. There's nothing much going on. It's pretty flat water unless you catch high tide. And even high tide is really not high tide. It's low tide. And low tide is very, very non-existent tide is what it is. So we were out there and it's pretty cool because they had these huge waves that came in. Like huge. Like I would say taller than me. So, I mean, obviously it took us out fun time, so that's why I know it's taller than me. So, but yeah, they had these waves and we had like these little floaty like noodle things and we were just wrapped ourselves in these noodle things yeah. and we're literally just floating on these little waves, just like doing absolutely nothing. You know, like, what'd you do out there? Absolutely nothing. Yeah. <laughs> literally. Yeah. What'd you do? Where'd you go? What excursions did that? We did nothing. Yeah. And you know, when you are so busy, throughout the day for so many days of the week, right? Because remember, we're not just working and running a business. You know, we have this, you know, MLB child in, a, in, in, in the making yep. and the child has baseball <laughs> every day of the week. And every weekend is pretty much base, baseball, you know, like baseball starts at 5 a.m. and ends at 5 p.m., you know, so it just goes all day. And the, your entire weekend is dedicated to baseball. So it was nice to get away for a little bit because, yeah, you do get a chance to reminisce or just have some time alone um, and just relax and maybe not think about anything at all. I yeah. mean, I definitely had moments where it's just like, 
blank. Yeah. Literally just blank. Just concentrate on the waves, right? Just the waves, just the, the splash. Concentrate on the waves flowing, or, or, you know, I mean, even in this trip, right, usually we don't bring our son on the trip, <laughs> but we did bring our son on the trip this time, and it was, it was a great experience for all of us. It was really cool. You know, um, really fun. He had fun. You know, it's good to share those moments, and obviously take a lot of pictures and video, right? Mm -hmm. Because... You know what I was telling him was I was like, listen, I was like, when you I was your age, they didn't have the technology, the great cameras they have today on cell phones, and you know you couldn't document all the great things that happened, right? You lived it through your eyes and, and your body and your memory and your mind. But it's always good to look back on some of those pictures, videos, photos. I mean, even apps these days, you can get all your content of what you shot, throw it into one app, and it'll make your own video for you where you don't have to edit or do anything for it. And that's a pretty cool thing to do because you can show your friends, your family, your kids if you don't take them with you or whoever it is, what the experience was, what you did out there. Uh, and to Sharice's point, we don't do excursions, right? I think on one of these trips, we yeah. went four-wheeling one time years ago. And so we've done a couple of excursions here or there. Or something like that, like the little thing. But most of the time, we like to chill at the house, hang out, you know, just enjoy each other's time. Because we did have a couple of other friends there, from one, one couple's from the UK and the other one's from uh, from LA. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So at that point, you know, we, we get to catch up. It's like we haven't missed a beat, which is really awesome. Um, and, so we got to talk about this, though, right? Because this is Cupid's Corner, and we're uh, supposed to give good advice, right? True. That's That's the whole point of the show, right? So we're going to tell you what happened um, in this little particular trip of ours, because I think it's important that we share this experience, because sometimes you might be caught in a very stressful experience, and it's like, how do you handle an experience, right? Because if your mind is set, right, that you are going on this awesome vacation, and John always tells me this, I'll be so excited. I'm like, oh, I can't wait to go, I can't wait to go, I can't wait to go, oh, I can't wait to go, I can't wait to go, I can't wait to go. And then what do you say when I go, I can't wait to go, I can't wait to go? I'm not getting excited till I'm feet on the ground where I'm supposed to be at, checked in the hotel, and ready to go. Literally. That is what he says to me every single time. And it'd be like so one true. day before, right? And I'm like, I can't wait to go. I can't wait to go. Oh, I, I, could just, I could just hear the waves now. I could just drink those pina coladas. I could just taste them in my mouth. I'm so excited. I can't wait to go. And he says, I'm not getting excited. So I get there, feet are on the ground. I'm checked in the hotel and ready. Exactly. So to John's point, um, so on Sunday, right, and this is a true story, okay, Sunday, we had to wake up at 5 o'clock in the morning for our son's baseball game, right? Now, just wake up at 5 o'clock in the morning on a Sunday when you work all week is tolling enough as it is, right? To have to wake up at 5 o'clock in the morning and then drive an hour and a half to your destination, Auburndale or wherever it was, and then be there one hour before for BP, right? Baseball, and, yeah, it's a... Uh, uh Batting practice. Batting practice, Excuse right? Me. Being there one hour before, so you sit there, do nothing, and then you do go there for two games, or two-hour game, right? And you are there, then let's say there might have been another two-hour game, thank God there wasn't. But, you know, you come back home, it's a whole other hour and a half. By the time you get home, you're like, oh my goodness, I'm so tired. So we are exhausted. We're making sure all our stuff's all packed up because our flight from Tampa to Miami was going to be leaving at 8, right? So... You know, six o'clock rolls around and we're like, get ready to go. I'm like, okay, let's go, let's go, let's get everything packed up. So John, you know, he's in charge of all the uh, little airline tickets and stuff. So he pulls up the thing and I saw it was raining outside, right? So I'm like, okay. I'm like, I'm putting in my mind, like, please do not cancel this trip. Like, and luckily, you know, I mean, in the back of my mind, I'm like, uh, I can't say I really want to drive to Miami right now because it's about a four and a half hour drive. Yep. Um, but, I, you know, if I had to, I would. Right. So anyways, long story short, and this is where. Yeah, because in Miami, we're waiting to get on a private plane, a private jet to fly over to the Caymans. Yes. Our best friend bought us a private plane for my birthday, which is awesome. However, we had to get to the private plane. Right. So we're in Tampa, and this is just an example of how you should, you got the end of the day, right? No matter what, you guys got to work together, right? Mm -hmm. You guys, no matter what the situation is, pause and be like, all right, let's think logically because we might be all mad about the situation or something might be going on where you're stressed out and be like, let's be logical about this and figure out a game plan right. so that we can complete our task, right? Because right? Right. essentially that's what it comes down to, right? right. So... He tells me that the flight's delayed, right? I'm like, okay, cool. So I was like, well, let's wait around for a little bit, see what happens. All right, cool, a little bit more delayed. All right, cool, you know what? Let's just go to the airport. Let's just make sure we're there in case it's just ready to go. Let's do that. So we pull into the thing, right? And we're in the Escalade, great. Yeah, it fits all the suitcases. We had a lot of suitcases, right? So we get there and then I'm like, hey, why don't you go down to the little people down there and to ask them, 
you know, what's happening with this plane? Like, are we gonna not get on? Like, is it getting canceled? Are they boarding? What was the problem? Is the problem with the plane? Like, what's actually going on? They'll tell you. I'm like, because what I didn't want to do is give them my luggage on the little circle thingy, right? And then they put it on a non-existing area. And then I got to drive to Miami and wait for the luggage and I'm ready to go to Miami. So that was going to be not, that was a bit stupid. So I'm like, let's figure this out. So he goes down there and he asks them, he comes all the way back up, me and Peter in the car waiting very patiently. And he comes back, he's like, yeah, he's like, they said they're boarding the flight and you know, it'll be about 45 minutes to an hour or whatever. I'm like, cool. So literally not, but maybe one minute, <laughs> one minute after he says this, right? Flight's canceled, man. He's like, flight's canceled. I'm like, are you serious? And like right now, my eyes are like this. Because eh? I'm like, I've been up since five o'clock, packed all my stuff the night before, so didn't get any sleep. You know, you guys know how that goes, right? So, anyways, we had to figure out how we were going to get there, right? So then we had to work as a team to figure out how we were going to get there. So, what did we do? We went to. Went to the rental car place, found a rental car that we could drop off in Miami, which uh -huh. luckily we found one. And we uh, did it together. At that point, you know, drove down to Miami, right? Which we also did together. And remember, as a partner team, we made sure we split the drive yep. so that way neither one of us was really, really tired, yep. but it was teamwork. Yep. Do you see how we did that yep. as a team? And we were both tired and cranky. I mean, he was way more cranky than me. Depending on whatever situation you're in, complaints can be useless. Way more cranky. The best thing you can do is find a resolution to whatever problem it is, right? Problem solve. Yep. Um, don't just keep complaining about it because that's not going to do anything for you guys. And that's the moral of the story. You guys got to work as a team, enjoy yourselves, right? And when stressful situations come on, you got to combat together and then we Not made it down to miami together yep. and we finally checked into our hotel at yep. three o'clock in the morning yep. <laughs> and then we made it to our plane so and then we made it to the destination <laughs> got the private plane got on there got there and you know it was a pretty good trip all the way through how through. cool right though you awesome. see but you see you miss the behind the scenes right yeah so there's a lot to go on <laughs> so i hope you guys enjoyed our our trip story uh and some of the relationship advice we gave you in there Join us every week for Cupid's Corner on Sunday, ABC at 11 a.m. DVR it if you're not there live. And you know what? If you can't see it at all, just go over to YouTube, type in Type Medical Center, and catch all the Cupid's Corner shows and all the cool content coming from me, Sharice, and Type Medical Center. We'll see you then. See you next week.